earlier today. Cars and trucks, hotel rooms, even me, have all gone up in price dramatically in the past year. But Steve Nielsen is looking into why the cost of dying is going up as well. Steve. Well, you can blame it a lot of the same reasons, supply chain issues and an increase in demand. And unfortunately, a lot of local funeral directors say it means prices likely will be going up in the next few weeks. Really, you could you could point to any of them and say that they're that they're hard really? to get. Funerals are the latest industry feeling the pressure of price increase and supply chain demand. We have had companies earn companies that we've worked with in the past that essentially have had no product available. Bryce Bunker with Bunker Family Funerals and Cremation says while the earning casket supply has started to rebound in the last few weeks, the costs have risen dramatically. We are certainly feeling the pressure. We've had unprecedented um, price increases from suppliers and surcharges that we've never that, that I've never experienced in my career here. The prices are going to be going up across the board. I'm Look at the empty shelves behind John Perk's it's head. It's Those it's urns are out of stock. Some of the ones we we normally carry, we just we just aren't getting. Perk owns Regency Mortuary and is on the board of the Arizona Funeral Cemetery and Cremation Association. He said they'll be forced to raise prices soon. Unfortunately, we you know, we we have to cover what what our costs are are as well. So it's, it's, it's already, we're, we're funeral directors because we like to serve people and it, it does kind of hurt. Our, it hurts our feelings too, that we have to, to do that to the families as well. According to the National Funeral Directors Association, costs have risen on funerals slower than the national average on other services, but new surcharges have impacted that according to several local funeral homes. I don't see this changing anytime soon. Let's not get our hopes up. You know, this is a new, a new world that we're in and we're, we all have to get used to a new norm. And Perks says that he'll likely have to increase prices on March 1st. Before the pandemic, by the way, he said he would increase prices on average once out of every two years. Now it's every four months. Reporting live tonight, Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.